uh, my dear friends, the answer to this question uh, would be uh, B, uh, that is 2 and 3, because if inflation is too high, Reserve Bank of India is likely to buy government securities, not buy, sell government securities. So, uh, 1 is wrong, 2 is correct because rupee, if rupee is rapidly depreciating, RBI is likely to sell dollars in the market to prevent that depreciation. Similarly, if interest rates in the US or European Union were to fall, when the interest rates fall, dollars will come into India and emerging markets. So, when dollars come into India, naturally I, RBI would start buying those dollars. So, that is the explanation. I will repeat for all of you. Uh, choice 1 is wrong because when inflation is high, RBI is likely to sell government securities in order to absorb liquidity from banks, not buy. So, one choice is wrong. The answer is B, which is 2 and 3 only because uh, the explanation is when rupee is dep uh, depreciating rapidly, RBI is likely to buy dollars in the market. All right. Uh, RBI is likely to sell dollars in order to prevent the depreciation, right? That is correct. Then if interest rates in the US are falling, then they fall, more dollars will come into India and emerging markets. When more dollars come, RBI will be induced to buy those dollars. So, so please choice B is correct as far as question number 3 is concerned. We move on to question number 5 and question number 5 says, Question number 5 is government can read, this is, uh, you remember we had done inflation index bonds. Uh, inflation index bonds are bonds which government may introduce at the time when inflation rate is going to be high. So, these bonds may be used to protect vulnerable sections, senior citizens and their savings. So, these bonds were issued last in 2014. Government had proposed that if inflation goes up, it may come out with these bonds again. So, two things the answer here would be the correct answer here would be choice A, that is 1 and 2, because government can reduce the coupon rates on its borrowings by way of IIBs. Coupon rate means the interest rate. If there is disinflation, if inflation rate comes down, obviously the interest rate also would correspondingly come down. So, government has the option that in case in inflation comes down, the coupon rate, the coupon, the word coupon here means interest rate on bonds that it issues will automatically come down because inflation index bonds are bonds which offer a rate of, in, uh, a rate of interest a certain percentage over and above the prevailing rate of inflation. So, at any given point of time, if inflation is coming down, Obviously, even the coupon rate, the interest rate would also automatically come down. And secondly, what was the, 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 the fundamental objective of issuing any such bonds would be choice 2. It will provide protection to the investors from uncertainty regarding inflation. And these investors would generally be those who are savers. I mean, common investors like senior citizens, small savers fixed income earners, all right. Choice 3 is wrong because RBI's website very clearly says that interest income, of course, would be subjected to tax, but not capital gains. Hence, choice 3 is wrong. I am quoting the website of the Reserve Bank of India, which very clearly talks about these inflation index bonds and states that while interest that you receive on these bonds would be subjected to tax, capital gains on these bonds will not be subjected to tax. Hence, choice 3 is wrong. So, the correct answer would be uh, A, that is 1 and 2. All right. We move on to question number 6 because I am addressing questions which are within my topics. Question number 6. My dear friends, kindly recall when we were doing this topic in the class. I have done this topic in details. 
I have given you foreign direct investment policy of the government of India in respect of e-commerce companies. If you recall, I have dictated to you also that e-commerce companies are called marketplaces, right? So they can sell their own goods in addition to offering their platform at no, that is wrong. The choice, the, the correct answer is B, that is uh, uh, two only. You remember, look up your notes, I dictated that the degree to which they can own big sellers on their platform is limited. I told you they are not allowed to hold, you know, uh, they, they can own big sellers on their platform is, I told you, they are not allowed to own uh, inventory of the sellers who sell goods through their platform. And I told you, if a seller were to sell more than 25% of his inventory through the platform of an e-commerce company, that inventory would be deemed to be controlled by a foreign e-commerce company. So choice two is correct, which means the answer would be B. Then in my uh, topics, I have uh, question number 65. Question number 65, yes. Question number 65 is, now please see question number 65. Uh, both the, the choices are correct. The answer would be both 1 and 2. I will explain it to you. What are convertible bonds? There are two types of bonds. Convertible bonds, uh, non-convertible bonds. Convertible bonds means that when a company issues these bonds, it gives an offer to those who are uh, investing in these bonds that certain percentage or certain number of these bonds can be converted into shares of the company. Right? So, these are called convertible bonds. Non-convertible bonds are bonds where company straight away takes loan through bonds, doesn't give any offer to investors to convert these bonds into some uh, shares. So these are convertible bonds. So the answer that as there is an option to exchange the bond for equity, convertible bonds pay a lower rate of interest. That is absolutely correct because you have the option that you can convert these bonds into shares of the company. Hence, obviously, the government, the company would give you a lower rate of interest because it is giving the, 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 the offer of uh, converting them into shares. Then the option to convert to equity, that is shares, affords the bond holder a degree of indexation to rising consumer prices. Obviously, because the moment you have the option to convert your bonds into shares of the company, right, even if inflation takes place, bonds will give you a fixed rate of interest, but shares price goes along higher along with rate of inflation. Hence, the option 2 is also correct. Option 1 and option 2 both are correct and hence the answer is C. I will repeat the explanation. First thing first, let me explain to you very simply that bonds issued by a company can be of two types. Convertible bonds, non-convertible bonds. Convertible bonds are the very word convertible means that any investor who invests in these bonds would have be given the option that you can convert a certain portion of these bonds or whole of these bonds into some shares of the company. Right? That being so, so if there is this option, convertible bonds pay, obviously the company knows that since it is offering them shares, so it will pay a lower rate of interest. Even at lower rate of interest, investors would invest because they have the, they have this uh, liberty of converting them into shares. Option number two, let me explain. Since you have the option to convert bonds into shares, right? While uh, bonds offer a fixed rate of interest and they are not a hedge against inflation, when inflation takes place and if you have shares, prices of shares also go up. Hence, you have a degree of indexation. You are protected against rising consumer prices also. Hence, the answer is both A, both 1 and 2, that is C. And my last question 
in respect of the topics that I am doing with you is the simplest. The answer is the simplest. That is question number 68. In India, which one of the following is responsible for maintaining price stability by controlling inflation? It, I mean, this is the simplest of the answers. Reserve Bank of India. It's not Department of Consumers. It's not Expenditure Management Commission. It's not Finance. It is the Reserve Bank of India. I told you that's a monetary authority. The Reserve Bank of India, right? It does so by uh, hiking the repo rate, by hiking the CRR, like it has done in the last few days. All right. So, my dear friends, I wish you the best, and I hope you can you can compare the answer that you may have given with what I have given you as correct answers by way of a key issued and prepared by our institute, the next IES. You rest assured, you have the best uh, you know, answers and the right answers uh, with you. So, my best wishes to all of you.